Barack Obama and David Cameron have threatened Syria's government with a serious response if it's confirmed the authorities in Damascus gassed hundreds of people on Wednesday. Meanwhile, Assad's administration has warned against a U.S.-led intervention, saying the move would set the Middle East ablaze. Syrian state television is reporting that Syrian soldiers entered a number of tunnels that had been used by rebel fighters in Damascus, and there they found empty shells, the remnants of chemical agents. This comes as the United States starts moving its naval ships in the Mediterranean closer to the Syrian coast. The indications on the ground are that the first wave of preparations for any kind of military intervention inside Syria are underway and that the US and in particular the Navy is just waiting for the green light. I've seen quite a lot of uh, chips come into place here, Paula. You talk about the military posturing on the part of Washington with a, with a fourth warship heading to the region. Now to the deepening crisis in Syria. Today, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said the U.S. is preparing for all options there. As speculation rises that the U.S. is planning to strike, this as doctors inside Syria confirm they treated thousands of people who were victims of what appears to be a chemical attack. Our chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is in Turkey near the Syrian border this morning. Richard, what's the latest? Over the last several days, they have received large shipments of weapons, tons of weapons going to the Syrian opposition, coming through Turkey, in fact, coming through this area. And they also say that they believe they have evidence that Bashar al-Assad personally ordered those alleged chemical attacks on the outskirts of Damascus. We're reporting from a region on the brink, and all eyes are on Syria, where an apparent chemical weapons attack could lead to American military action. Here in Cairo, we're just 100 miles from the Mediterranean Sea, where U.S. warships are now at the ready. This morning, officials tell ABC News that U.S. Navy destroyers now in the Mediterranean could be used to carry out limited military strikes, cruise missile strikes. What a lot of analysts are already describing is uh, the, the turning point in a regional conflict between Sunni allied states and Shia allied states. So it's a very dangerous situation that a military intervention could make much bigger and much, much worse. U.S. warships are moving off the coast of Syria, preparing for an attack. This is what uh, is, is the reality, and this is, this is what many of us have feared for many years now. This is bigger than just war with Syria. What we're talking about here is World War III. It's likely cruise missiles launched from those destroyers, targeting key Assad military command posts. Government officials telling us the case for military action is taking shape.